My name is Ryo Hirasawa. I'm 26. Whenever I mention my childhood friend, guys around me will become envious of me. But the thing is, my childhood friend is a little... No. Extremely sloppy. Ryo, cha... Um... I'm home. This is her. Hina Sawashiro. Dude, what time do you think it is? Ugh, you reek of alcohol. Why do you always drink more than you can handle? Relax, I'll be fine. Ryo-chan, you take good care of me. Hina's office and my apartment are close. She takes full advantage of it. She comes over at least twice a week, and she's always wasted. I appreciate her calling me beforehand every time she comes over, but I wish she would start controlling her alcohol intake. Gee, she can't even walk by herself. I can't imagine you taking care of your koai at work. But I do. I work hard every day. I contribute many things to society. I don't know what Hina is like at work, but I can imagine her desk must be a huge mess. And she must have trouble keeping up with everything. Yo chan I tried my best to entertain my clients today. I deserve a reward. Gosh, all things I have to deal with. Oh, can you grab my makeup removal cream? You're the best. Yeah, yeah, you must be tired. Speaking of which, have you realized how my room is overflowing with your belongings? Anything you want to say about that? Hmm, it means your room is too small. I think we should move to a bigger apartment. You idiot. Are you saying you don't want my stuff here, Ryo-chan? Do they bother you? No, no, that's not what I meant. Cut it out. Don't look at me with those puppy eyes. <laughs> Do I make your heart beat fast? Are you going to make a move on me? <laughs> You're too drunk to talk. Go get cleaned up. No, I'm so hungry. Ryo-chan, whip me up something to eat. Please, for me. I only have leftovers. Hang on, uh, let, me, let me find something. Yay, Ryo-chan, this is why I love you. You are absolutely perfect. Do you think she can get anything she wants from me? I wonder if there is anybody out there willing to take care of her like I do. Nah, definitely not. Nobody can deal with her like me. I'm surprised I haven't gotten sick of her already. Here, I made some soup from today's leftovers. Watch out, it's still hot. Ryo-chan, can you feed me? I'm so drunk. I might spill it if you don't. And everything tastes so much better when you feed me. Open up. Mmm, it's so yummy. Ryo-chan, what in the world would I do without you? <laughs> you probably die. Seriously, when will you learn to take care of yourself? The next day at work, she's always acting like a spoiled child. You think it's my fault? I don't see the problem. I mean, it's not like you dislike her, right? Well, we've known each other for a long time. Didn't you say she was planning to work somewhere else, but she suddenly decided to change a job? Could it be? She came in to be with you? <laughs> I doubt it. I tried asking Hina about it since my colleague brought it up earlier, but... Oh, gosh. Ryo-chan, do you like being chased more than chasing someone? That's not the point of my question. Ugh, this is my fault. I shouldn't have asked a piss drunk girl. She managed to dodge the question. Well then, I guess I should take a shower now. I feel so sticky from all the sweat. Yeah, don't take your clothes off here. Go to another room. Hmm, <laughs> don't be silly. We used to take baths together all the time. Oh, how about you get in with me? Ryo-chan, do you want me to scrub your back? I already took a shower. I need to take another one. Jeez, you gotta stop taking your clothes off. You're too shameless. Oh no, Ryo-chan. Do you not like my underwear? I don't care. Just shut up and get in. <laughs> Your face is bright red. Oh, you naughty little boy. <sighs> you did well, Ryo. You can't lose control. I don't think she should be allowed to drink alcohol anymore. Why don't she start stripping when she's with her colleagues? Ugh, I can't ban her from going out, but I should teach her to protect and take better care of herself. 30 minutes later. Hello? Ryo-chan, are you angry? Did I do something wrong? I'm not angry, I'm just worried. You need to take better care of yourself. I know we've known each other our whole life, but it doesn't mean it's okay. Here I come. I'm sleeping next to you. This is exactly the type of thing I'm talking about. You can't slip into my food town like that. I'm letting you use the bed. Use it. Or we can trade it if you prefer sleeping in a futon. Come on, you're not my father, okay? Relax, lie down. I don't understand what you're suggesting. You ask a guy to lie down next to you, I mean... Well, I wouldn't mind anything happening. As long as it's okay with you, Ryo-chan. You can't go around saying things like that. Go to sleep. I'm not talking to you anymore. 
I could feel Hina's breathing. I could feel her warmth against my back. She kept stimulating all my senses. I couldn't fall asleep. I should be proud for maintaining control of myself. As for Hina, she was acting weird. I'm leaving. Okay, I'll see you soon. She left the house with a sulky attitude, but I had no idea why. Hina's office. Leo chan he's such a moron! Why didn't he make a move? I was getting in his futon sleeping next to him! What else do I have to do to get him to notice me? So, Ashima Sod, would you have a second? Want you to ask you something? Uh, sure. You all get straight to the point. Will you, uh, be my girlfriend? Huh? Yo! This is the third time you're staying the night here this week. Why do you and your colleagues go out drinking so much? We didn't. Not today. I bought alcohol at the convenience store. <laughs> That's a first. Does something happen? Are you stressed? I'll tell you since you seem curious. You know, one of my colleagues asked me out today during work. Are you talking about a dream? No, I'm not. He stood there and held his hand out. And then he asked me if I would be his girlfriend. Yo, Chan, I can tell you don't believe me. Well, you're not the most reliable person. You're drunk 90% of the time. So, how did that conversation end? Are you his girlfriend now? Yo, Chan. How would you feel if I became someone else's girlfriend? Huh? Uh, it would affect me in some ways. Things could get lonely around here, but all I ever wish for is your happiness. So if your boyfriend ever makes you cry, I'll go to your office myself to beat the crap out of him. <laughs> Yo, Chan, you've never been good at fighting physically. He might be you two a ball. That was back when I was a kid. I'll be fine. Maybe I can start training. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. I'm gonna go wash up. Ugh, she didn't answer my question. Does she realize how much effort it took to hide how upset I was? She's leaving me in the dark. Ugh, I can't take this anymore. She better not be dating him. I'm the only one she should care about. I could never tell her that. A few days later, I was drinking at an izakaya with friends I met in university. He was so upset by. It's been too long. Yo, man, how's work? Is everything going well? Yup, life couldn't be better. I have such a great boss. There's so much to learn from her. And the best thing about her is that she's so freaking pretty. Here, I have a photo of her. Let's see. Wait, this is a photo of Hina. Huh, this is the boss you were talking about? Are you sure this is the right person? I oh, know, she's too pretty to be real, right? I know a bunch of guys from work who like her, but uh, she flat out dumped him. Talked about a boyfriend or something. I mean, I kind of expected it. A woman like her would never be single. Does your boss happen to have an extremely low alcohol tolerance level? No, nope, not at all. She never gets drunk, no matter how many she's at. Oh, she never gets drunk. Mm -hmm. And she has a boyfriend? I'm home. <sighs> I think I drank too much tonight. I'm burning up. Can you bring me something cold to drink? Hina, you're here. Here, have some cold tea. Thank you. Uh, wait a second. Why are you acting like that? Hina, sit down. What? Uh, what is it? You're scaring me. You're going to scold me. Hina, have you heard of Nomura? I used to go to university with him. I saw him tonight, and he told me about his boss, Sawashiro Senpai. Apparently, she's a super professional person. Oh! And he also told me how Sawashiro Senpai never gets drunk. Alcohol doesn't seem to affect her. So, have you been putting on an act this whole time? Uh, y you caught me. I can never get drunk even if I want to. Yeah, okay. There's something else. Nomura told me how Sawashira Senpai has a boyfriend whom she's been dating for a long time. Huh? Hina, I'm here for you. You know I am no matter what. But you can't keep coming and sleeping in my futon when you have a boyfriend. You should be going to his place instead of mine. Yo, Chan. I don't think I'll be able to handle my girlfriend sleeping at another guy's apartment. Your boyfriend deserves better. Just stop spending so much time here. I you've got it all wrong. This is all a misunderstanding. I don't have a boyfriend. I've had a crush on somebody for many years now. Oh, my bad, I had no idea. So you like somebody? You just found out I never get drunk. So why do you think I came here all the time pretending to be wasted? I had to pretend so I could show you a side of me that I would never be able to if I wasn't drunk. Huh? I'll admit, Nomura Kun wasn't lying. I do my best to put on a professional businesswoman act in front of everybody else. It's exhausting. And I'm sick of it. Ryo-chan, you're the only one I can be myself around. But you up and left our hometown without looking back. Do you even know how I felt when you left me behind? 
You broke my heart, Ryo-chan. I wanted to see you, even if I had to put on a drunk girl act. I know it was wrong, and I'm sorry for tricking you. Wait, so the guy you've had a crush on for years? That's about... me? Took you long enough. I've been trying everything I could think on you. But nothing I did ever seemed to affect you. What? I didn't know that you were making moves on me. You should know that I never acted on my feelings because I cared about you. I didn't want to take advantage of you while you were drunk. I couldn't sleep that night you came into my futon. I literally got no sleep. Really? So I'm not the only one with the feelings? You feel the same way? I freaked out when you told me how your colleague asked you out. I know, I should have been honest about my feelings sooner. Hina, I like you. From now on, you're welcome to come anytime. You don't have to pretend to be drunk. You can keep one of my spare keys. Okay. Thank you, Ryo-chan. We started as childhood friends, but taking a step forward with her felt natural and right. Come on, what's wrong? Why won't you act like you always used to? I'm ready for you 100%. I can't. It's too embarrassing now that I can't pretend that I'm drunk. Well, I like it when you're embarrassed. I guess it'll take a while before a relationship can go back to how it was. I don't care who it is, just please join. I don't care who it is, just let me in. Huh? huh? My name is Kengo Yanagi, and I'm a freshman baseball player. My height is clear over six foot tall, and everyone was super excited for me, but... I'm sorry to break this to you guys, but uh, we won't be able to continue playing baseball next year. Seriously? The baseball club I was a part of disappeared after this year. Which means that for the next three years, I'd have to find another club to be a part of. I was always a baseball player, so I worked hard at practice, but the other players weren't that interested. I couldn't even make it to the state champs. Can't be helped, I guess. Around fall, the seniors were found doing something wrong, which led to the expose on the juniors and sophomores as well. The more you dug, the more dirt you found, so the freshmen were all confused. We don't know the details, but apparently the teachers and PTA, along with the school committee, were all bought in because of what they did. If the remaining players worked together, we might have been able to actually keep playing, but everyone else didn't seem as motivated. Everyone started leaving. I just followed suit. Uh, I'll just play baseball with the local team. I need to find a club, though. Our school required you to be in a club, so there was no option to not be in a club. I didn't feel like joining some random athletic club, so I wasn't sure, and before I knew it, I was a sophomore. If I didn't join a club by April, I'm gonna be penalized. I don't think I gotta pick up trash or something. Uh, what do I do? I was walking down the hallway trying to figure out what to do when a little girl handed me a piece of paper. Oh, thanks. It was like having a small package of tissues handed to me. I just accepted without thinking about it. It was an advert for the cooking club. Uh, would you like to join the cooking club? I was over six feet tall, muscular, and my hair was just now finally growing in. I looked pretty scary too, so it was like I was a delinquent or something. And there was a senior who was trying to talk to me. Cooking club? Are you serious? You need anyone with a pulse, don't you? <laughs> a lot of my classmates are all graduating and, yeah, if just one person joins, then our club won't close down. But I know you're a sophomore. You must be part of another club. Sorry. No, I'm actually not in the club right now. Cooking, huh? Her height, like five foot tops. She was small and her hair had a little tie in it. She was like a typical girl. I was definitely not what they were looking for, but... It's okay. I wasn't good at cooking either. Look! This is the cookie I made my first year, and... This is the cake I made last year. It's not a regular cake. It's a marzipan cake. A decoration cake. These animals are icing cookies, and it's all handmade. I'll show you the ropes, so don't worry. I thought that I should reject the offer since I was pretty scary looking, but... She thought that I was worried because I had no cooking experience. She worked so hard to stand on her tiptoes being a similar height level as me, so she really actually wants me to join. I was moved. Do you have some time right now? I want to talk about what we do. Yeah, I'm free today, sure. Let's go. Uh, let's go. I had her show me the room and explain what I did in cooking club. First, I know I said it's cooking club, but we don't just cook regular food. If we don't actually have something to show, then the club won't stick around, so we do mostly decoration work. Icing cookies, sweets, that kind of thing. We actually submit things to contests. It's not like we can just cook hamburger patties and eat them, huh? Yeah. 
but sometimes we make them too, just as a small fun thing. Normally we use this small room to decide what we're going to cook and come up with recipes. After we submit the stuff to contests and fairs, we sell them too. Sometimes we also hand things out over at the social affairs to help out. You actually do a lot, huh? I'm surprised. Every club I've ever been in has had some kind of physical activity, so I've never been a part of this kind of creative thing. I thought they mostly only made things once or twice a year and fooled around the rest of the time. I was a little ashamed of my ignorance before I realized that I had a lot of time to work on things in this class. I want to join, but I plan a local baseball team twice a week so the other three days I can come by. Oh, the baseball club. <laughs> yeah, word gets around, huh? Yeah, I had some boys in my class that got busted, but don't worry. Three days a week is plenty. Let's work together, huh? I'm Sayori Haruno. Nice to meet you. You can call me Sayori. I'm Kengo Yanagi. You can call me Kengo. Nice to meet you. I put in my form to join the cooking club. First, you draw the lines for the icing. Oh. You missed. <laughs> That's so weird. I never make these mistakes. Seriously. So we started cooking club together. She was a manager and she often tried to play the mentor or sister character, but she often missed the mark and it was funny. This isn't how it normally is. Uh, you don't believe me, do you? I don't know. Oh, you're so mean. You get to eat the bad cookie as punishment. <sighs> it's pretty good. <laughs> Icing cookies are good, huh? I like them too. Yep. She would often go from upset to happy in a heartbeat, but she was adorable when she smiled. We often worked late after class. And cutting these are pretty difficult, huh? Yeah. I'm not great at it either. <laughs> but they look good. I think the flat fish would be nice to cook too. Yeah. I'll add it to the dish. This is like we're married or something. It's like we're married. Sometimes we would make things that were clearly not dessert just for fun. Let's go to the station together. Sure. Did you grow again? No, 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 I haven't measured. My neck is always like this when I'm talking to you. That's too adorable. Should I dip down like I'm talking to a kid? Don't treat me like a child. You need to shrink down. Like this much. I'm gonna be shorter than you then. Hmm. We will go home together sometimes. Oh, Ken Goku-kun, right over here. Good morning. She's so cute in her private clothes. You're so tall, it's easy to find you. You told me to shrink before. I wish you could shrink and grow to your will. That's kind of gross. It's not gross. It just be you. Let's go shopping. We need to go farther out because the supermarket near the school doesn't have enough stuff. I mean, this is pretty fun, though. <laughs> That's true. We would often go out on weekends to buy groceries. Am I allowed to be having this much fun? There was no way that I imagined myself in this situation considering I was surrounded by men last year. At first, I thought it was just cooking little things, but I actually really like making things, so I actually like this. Yeah, I'm glad you found me. Sometimes we had our sweet moments, but there were bad times too. Yanagi, get in the office real quick! Huh? Uh, sure. Suddenly, my teacher called me out and then, You're not using the cooking club as a place to just hang out, are you? What? I had a pretty scary looking face and I was always physical and active, so it seemed off that I was in the cooking club. Not to mention the fact that the older players were treated as criminals, so I was also lumped in with them. The teachers thought I was some kind of delinquent, so sometimes the teachers would question my intentions. I don't even have bad grades. Why are they calling me a delinquent? I just make cookies. We heard about that. The manager is being talked to right now, too. My teacher actually liked me, so he just seemed like he had to do his job, but then a half-crying manager showed up. Excuse me? Kengo Kun is not a delinquent, sir. Sorry, I meant she was bawling. My teacher is so mean. She just treats him like a delinquent without getting to know him. She thought I might be doing weird things with him. He's so hardworking and works hard for the club, but no one believes me. Whoa, calm down. I don't doubt you, okay? Hey, Sayori, you should blow your nose. <laughs> Whose fault is it that I'm crying? Eventually, my teacher covered for the two of us along with Sayori-san, and everything was fine. By then, I was able to join in the adult league, so the practice was moved to the weekend. I was able to focus on cooking club. <sighs> we finished our culture fair. Yeah, it was busy, but fun. At the culture fair, we put up a decoration cake that took us almost half a year to make and sold some cookies. A lot of people came and we had a lot of fun. 
Before I knew it, she was graduating. Ah, if only we were in the same grade. Then I could have cooking club with you still. Sayori, the other club members almost never came back after they graduated, but she always did to help out. I... I'm so glad that you showed me so much about myself. I didn't know how much fun this was. Congratulations on graduating. Please have a great life in college. She was bawling in the club room, and I just couldn't say anything as a man to ask her out. I've always liked her, but... She was working hard to make sure the club didn't disappear, but I just quit the baseball team like it was nothing. Why didn't I just try to talk to the other team members to try to keep the club going? I thought about it for a year, and part of it was because of her passion, but... Half of it was just because I didn't care which club I joined. I'm half-assing it all. I thought half-ass me is not worthy of a woman like her. After I became a senior, it was just me and the club now. Just like her. I wanted to catch up to her, so I didn't give up. I'm the manager of the cooking club, Kengo Yanagi. At the welcoming ceremony, I, a large athletic-looking scary man, invited people to the cooking club, which made everyone laugh. I showed things that we actually cooked. Look at me and look what I made. This is the first time I ever made a cookie. I showed them the terrible cookies versus the amazing cakes that we had on display, and a lot of girls were very excited to join. I think I can make this. Well, I want to be a patisserie. Could I join? If I did it, you absolutely can. <laughs> Please join. A few newbies joined our club. We're not going to be disappearing. I taught them all what she taught me. I mean, minus all the flirting. I'm only going to flirt like that with her. Getting ready for the school festival? We made something even fancier than before. You really can't expand when you have more than two people. And I told her I wanted to come by the festival. We had texted each other updates, but I hadn't seen her in person since she graduated. Kengo-kun, been a minute. Sayuri-san, uh, thank you for coming. She looked a little older, but she was still just as small as I remembered. <laughs> and she was really happy that I kept the club alive. The festival came to an end and it was pitch black outside, so I decided to send her off. We hadn't walked like this with just the two of us in a long time, so I was happy. You're incredible. Gathering more club members than me like that? <laughs> a lot of the club members like that this six-foot-tall guy was cooking dessert. No. It's skill. Great job. I could finally feel the hesitation leave my heart. I was waiting for her to tell me this. Sayori-san, I like you. Please, be my girlfriend. I told her that I liked her. This is the timing that you chose to ask me? I was waiting the whole time after I graduated. But you didn't ask me out, so I figured you weren't interested. So I tried to forget about you. But I couldn't forget about you every time you texted me. I've always liked you, too. Please make me yours. So we were finally able to go out. It was like Beauty and the Beast, so people were really suspicious of my intentions. Excuse me, who is she? Huh? She's my girlfriend. She's underage, right? Can I talk to you? I'm older than him. Sometimes the cops would talk to us in the street and she would show her license. They're clearly upset. <laughs> the cooking club is still going. Really? No way. There was a lot of stuff that happened along the way, but I still get along with her. Right now we're making a cake for our kindergarten age son. I hope he likes it. That guy's at the top of the class again. He's too far ahead of all of us. My name is Yuta Kanamori. I'm always at the top of the class in my high school. He's actually decent looking too. If only he didn't have that weird hobby. D he's going to hear you. A lot of the peanut gallery like to talk about my grades, but to me, I didn't care about any of it. There was one goal in my life. That was, whoa, a beautiful angel Denji. She's so cute this week too. To live within the second dimension. I love the second dimension. I worked part time for the second dimension and I spent my money on the second dimension. I'm going to get good grades, get into a good college, and find employment at a really nice company. Then I can officially make money and spend time and money on the second dimension next week at school. Mr. Katabori, did you check this week's uh, Tenchi chart? Of course I did. This week is important. She is going to be awakening. <laughs> You're as sharp as I remembered. Indubitably. Hey, Kanamori kun do you have a second? Mm hmm. Uh, well, 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 if it isn't the class president. This girl's name was Makoto Ainakoji. She's a class president. She's great at athletics and academics. She's beautiful. She really has nothing lacking. Is there a problem? I need to talk to you. Come by the class council room after class. But... Uh, I, I told you. 
be there? Did you do something to get it to be ugly at you? No, I don't think so. The only thing I can think of is about the grade works. I'm usually in first while she's in second, so maybe she's upset by that? I don't want anything to do with her if possible. I already don't like the third dimension as it is. She's literally someone that seems like she jumped out of the second dimension into ours. But Mr. Gatabori? Oh, sorry, nothing. I wasn't sure how to get it out, so I just headed to the room as she asked. Good, you came. Ma'am, I've seen this room in the second dimension quite a few times, but... Mm -hmm. This is what it's like here. What are you talking about? Nothing. Whatever. I called you here because I want to talk about the books you're reading in class. Books? Yes. I don't want you to read those romance novels. But why? You're talking about read to yourself time before seminar starts. The rules clearly state anything other than manga and magazines. Light novels are also good reading. There are some students who claim that if you read light novels, then you should be able to read mangas as well. I want you to exercise your sense of camaraderie and listen to me. I want you to keep your second dimensional hobby out of school. But why? The second dimension is life to me. It's truth. Someone shouldn't have the right to steal that from me. I'm not sure what you love about the second dimension at all. They give us courage. They give us excitement. The characters are cute. They're always encouraging me. Also, you get to enjoy what it would be like in a harem. It's like I'm popular or something. You're talking about something else towards the end, aren't you? You don't understand. You don't know what it feels like to be completely accepted. Because that doesn't really happen. Fine. I'll accept anything and everything you say and do for the next month. What? Let me help you understand. Uh, wait! I'm not done talking to you! Hang on! Ugh. What is up with that guy? What a weirdo. I don't want anything to do with him either. But I have to do this because it's my role as class prez. Ugh, this sucks. <laughs> I know her personality now. <laughs> I wish I had the pleasure in completely acceptance and encouragement. The week after I practiced. But Rex, is that kind of Murray? What? No way! That's not how he looked! What's going on, guys? You guys all look like you've been hit by a truck. Ah! <laughs> Ayanokuchi-san, look! Huh? Hey, Makoto-san, what a beautiful morning. Who are you? Don't be so strained. You forgot who I was? It's Yuta Kanamori. Oh, Makoto-san, you don't need to be carrying all that first thing in the morning. A lady shouldn't have to lift such heavy weights. What? Give it back! Shall I carry this to the class council room? I will take it. Wait, wait! Hang on! No! Who's that? Seriously, if only he wasn't this weird otaku, he'd be perfect! Well, Mr. Gatamori, what has happened? What the hell are you thinking? What do you mean? I'm going to accept and encourage you completely, Makoto-san. Stop saying Mikoto-san! Why would you do that? Stop doing things you don't need to! You seem irritable. Don't worry, I'll take care of it. That's not what I'm saying! What the hell is wrong with that guy? No matter how much I say something, he won't stop getting in the way! Well, no, supporting me! Makoto-san, here's some tea for you. Stop coming into the class council room without permission. Makoto-san, I brought the survey box for you. Stop unlocking things without permission. Makoto-san, I've signed this up for the local cleanup volunteer work. Stop signing me up for things! Ugh, I'm getting tired of this! He's so annoying! But he actually does come support me when I need it. Ugh. Did you call me? No, go home. I thought maybe you'd start to understand how great it is to have someone fully on your side. Ugh. It's just on the surface. It's not like I'm falling for it, so don't act like you've won. I see. That's unfortunate. I truly feel like I want to support you entirely. You're not even in the class council, so you don't need to do that. Just get out. I'm locking up. She stood up and almost tripped to chase me out. Uh, ah! Careful! Uh, Are you okay? Let go of me! Don't touch me! Oh, I'm sorry, but you're about to fall. I wasn't gonna hurt myself too bad even if I fell! Just get out! Y yeah, sorry. What's wrong with me? Why am I nervous against someone like that? I'm just tired. That's it. It's gotta be. I tripped because I'm tired. That's it. Yeah. I ignored what I felt and told myself that it was just being tired. 
A few days later... What is this? Sorry, I messed up and accidentally destroyed the sign! It's alright, I'll repair it. Uh, but... Uh, don't worry. Miss President, we don't have enough bottles from the volunteer work before. What? What should I do? Maybe it was miscounted? Uh, it's fine. You two just head out. That would help out tremendously. I have part-time work today. I'm sorry. Thank you. Uh, time to get to work. You called me and here I am. Ta-da! I didn't call you. What is this pile of work you need help with? I'm helping out with everyone's mistakes. All right, I'll help you. It's fine. Don't worry. Uh... You're not smiling like usual. And you probably aren't sleeping enough. You have bags under your eyes. I'm fine. Stop talking to me. You know, acting perfect has its limits. What? You know how I look good. Huh? And my house is pretty well off, and I make great grades. What are you talking about? You bragging? I'm telling you the truth. When I was young, I knew that I stood out compared to everyone. So I worked hard to try to make my parents satisfied. I tried to be the guy that my friends could brag about being friends with. But when I started middle school, my father took on a lot of debt and disappeared. What? On the letter from him, it said that I was a good hard-working kid, so I needed to look after my mom. Talk about being completely betrayed, huh? My mom works part-time thanks to him, and I have to work part-time too. You've been keeping up with everything in your class council because you have a reputation, right? Just because everyone is holding you to a certain standard doesn't mean you have to be there. When I look at you, I see an older version of myself. You're working your butt off for others. When I told her my background story, she fell silent for a little before speaking. My family always says that everything needs to be perfect, so I became the class president and I always had to get top of the class grades. But you keep taking first place. It was so annoying. You don't even seem to care what others think about you. Ha <laughs> ha! Otaku life is nice! You don't have to worry about what others think, and the second dimension is always on your side. They don't say anything you don't want to hear either. That's why I decided that I would live with the second dimension. I'm not going to say that you should have an interest in anime or manga, but I just wanted you to know how it feels to have something always on your side. So right now, I'm going to be that person. You talk too much. What? If you want to help out, move your hands, not your mouth. <laughs> Good point. The first and second in the class grades work together, so everything moves smoothly. We finished quicker than expected. Time passed, and eventually the month that I would completely and unconditionally be on her side came to an end, but... Hey, you. Huh? You're back to how you were? Oh, yeah, it's been a month. So, how was it? It was great, right? <laughs> I just came by to say thanks. Thanks, huh? So, are you going to allow me to read what I want? Sure. Well, goal achieved! But I was pretty bothered by what you did, you know. Huh? So, now I'm going to follow you around and be on your side. Unconditionally. Tell me what you like to be complimented about. But what? Why? Why? Because I want to see the person I like be happy, of course. M Mikoto san I mean, I know Goji-san. The what? Why are you not calling me by my first name? Because the month had already passed. That was just a bonus. No. <laughs> you just keep calling me by my first name like before. What? Come on, don't be so selfish. Apparently, I was a little too into the character. I thought that the second dimension was the best, but being with her was fun too. I guess this is a nice life to have too. My name is Ichiro Naramiya. I'm an ordinary office worker. I've gotten used to working in the real world. I even have junior colleagues to take care of now. I'm going to tell you about one of my kawaii's. Naramiya-san, would you like some tea? Oh, thank you, Ochai-san. <gasps> oh. Holy crap, that's hot! Narumiya-san, are you okay? Yeah, this is the girl I want to tell you about. Hanata Ochiai. She's the clumsiest person I've ever met. She always gets lost from running errands. What? Another dead end? She can't seem to handle making copies either. Oh no! Well, who never a dull day the try you saw here. Yeah, but it's been three months since she joined our team. I'm starting to get worried about having her here. Relax! You're doing a great job picking up the pieces after her mistakes. Just let her be. I love watching her trip it all over the place. Uh, you could help me. Um, er, Narumiya-san, I'm sorry for making you put up with me every day. It's okay, don't sweat it. Uh, Uchiha-san, did you hurt your finger again? Huh? Oh, y 
Yes, I did. I'm sorry. I know it's not a nice thing to see. Now you're good. I can't think of anything at the office that could cause a finger injuries. Anyway, so that's what my life at the office is like. I make sure I get checkups on my teeth every few months. Things are too hectic on weekdays. So I usually visit the dentist on Saturdays. One day I met. Huh? Ochi san What? Not Amiya san Ochi san The last person I expected to bump into. Are you here for a checkup? Oh, I'm. Hey, Chan. I'm done. Huh? Hey, good job in there. It wasn't scary, was it? We're here for her treatment. Well, I'll see you at the office. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, what the heck? I had no idea Chai san was married, but she doesn't have a ring on her finger. Wait a minute, that girl looks about five. How is that possible? Seeing her with a young child sparked my curiosity. I decided to ask her about it when I saw her at work. Hey, uh, Ochi san about that little girl I saw of you on Saturday. Huh? Little girl? Oh, yes. What about her? Well, I was surprised. I didn't know you had a daughter. What? Ochi san has a daughter? Well, how am I the last one to know? <laughs> oh, wait, oh, you got it all wrong. No way. Ichiro, you have a kid with Ochi san how is that even possible? Dude, relax, okay? Adamiya san, will you be okay with eating dinner with me tonight? Huh? Please don't ask, just say yes! What? Hey, I get that you're happy, but you don't have to shove it in me face! Now you got me all jealous! Yeah, I didn't have time to explain anything to him. Ojai san grabbed my hand and rushed out of the office. Thank you for coming. I just felt like I needed to go drinking tonight. I thought it would be nice if you could come. Uh, yeah, it's okay. The girl, she's my little brother's daughter. Her name is Kasumi. Oh, your little brother's... Wait, your little brother's daughter? She looks pretty big. She's four, not a baby anymore. So that means your brother was married at an early age? That's correct. He got married soon after he graduated from university. So he was only 21 or 22? That's crazy! Yes, it was too soon. That's why everything... Huh? Well, the thing is... His wife ran out on him. Wow, well, that must have been hard. I mean, I'm sure plenty of couples who were red young work things out fine. But that wasn't the case for my little brother. Their marriage was a result of them getting carried away. They both struggled, and it didn't end well. That's why he brought Kasumi to my place. I see. Ochai san told me how a mother had also left her and her brother behind. The father raised him on his own. Her little brother's job requires frequent business trips and. That's why she takes care of Kasumi-chan on the weekends. She works all week and then takes care of her niece on her days off. I'd be stressed out if I was her. But I don't think I'm doing enough. Huh? It's been three months since we started living together. But I still can't take care of her like I hoped I would. I feel awful about her cavities. It's because I didn't do enough. I'm sure you're doing a great job. You're overthinking things. Three months ago, that's right about when you joined our team at the office. You work every day. And you raise a child on your days off, but I've never heard you complain. I admire that. I truly do. Oh, oh dear. I think the alcohol is getting to me. Are you okay? I think so. But I didn't have a mother, so I know. Kasumi needs some other figure so she can trust and rely on. Mm. So I hope I could be there for her. I practice cooking and sewing so I could sew her favorite characters on her things. Let me guess, your injuries came from sewing and cooking. Yes. I wish I found this out sooner. I knew those cuts weren't from anything work-related. Hey, I want you to let me know if there's anything I can do to help. Huh? I don't come from a single-parent family, but both of my parents worked full-time. So I kind of understand how it feels to be lonely. I agree with you. A child definitely needs a strong support system. I'd love to help you out. Well, there is one thing I can think of now. Huh? Oh, okay. Cuss me has been asking me to clean her ears these days. But I've never cleaned anybody's ears before. Do you think I could practice on you, Narumiya-san? Huh? Why? Why did I put myself in this situation? We all left the Izakaya. Ended up in an internet cafe booth. Ochai san held an ear pig she bought at a convenience store. Let's take a moment to mention her soft thighs. And she smells so nice. Stop! You're only laying on her thighs because she wants to practice. But, but I've never experienced such heaven. Um... Okay, this is my first time. I'll try to be gentle. Uh, sure. Wait, you're not gonna sue me later on, right? I would never do that. I hope you don't sue me. I'm scared I might hurt your ears. My heart is pounding. I'm praying to God to let her notice. Soon after, I felt something enter my left ear. I couldn't decide if it was painful or satisfying. 
but I have to admit, I liked it. Uh, how does it feel? I'm not hurting you, am I? No, I don't think you are. You know, I could get used to this. It feels nice and relaxing. Really? Oh, I'm glad you like it. Uh, I think my mom cleaned my ears when I was a kid, but that was ages ago. Oh, even though she was busy with work? Yeah, I didn't get to spend much time with her. But she would always make sure my nails were clipped and stuff. I see. Laying here like this, it kind of reminds me of my mom. Just to make things clear, I'm not a mommy's boy or anything. <laughs> I didn't say you were. Please stop wingling around. I don't want to hurt you. Huh? Oh, my bad. You're still moving. Stay still. Uh. I appreciate this, Narumiya-san. Huh? You're always there for me at work. And now, you're here doing this for me. Uh, well, it's part of my job to take care of you at work. I get paid for it. And I understand how you're feeling right now. Hmm. You have a lot on your plate. I'm here for you. Just make sure Kazumi-chan gets the life that she deserves. Adamiya-san, I have a feeling you will make a great father. What, did you say something? Uh, no, I didn't say anything. Ah, I'm gonna go deaf if you continue like that. Oh no, I'm so sorry. There were a few scary moments, but overall, Ochi-san did a great job cleaning my ears. I woke up and realized I'd fallen asleep. Huh? Was I asleep? Yes, you were out completely. Oh, I see. Sorry. It's okay. You must be tired. I'm grateful for you helping me out. Do you think you can clean Kazumi-chan's ears now? Yes. Great! I'm glad you're more confident now. Um, Narumiya-san. Yeah? Uh, <laughs> it's nothing. Thank you for your help. Anytime. Let me know if you think of anything else. Uh, okay. So, aren't you going home? I am. But I figured I could get a cup of coffee before I get you know, all to enjoy being in the internet cafe. I see. Okay, well, I'm off then. Oh my gosh. Oh, that was embarrassing. I mean, I can't believe that happened. Mm. Um, Narumiya-san, you have to stay still. Mm. Huh? Oh, wait, Narumiya-san. Gosh, I'm not letting you get away next time. Jeez, he can't squeeze a girl's body like that. Gosh. Still, I can't say I didn't like it. He was adorable laying on me and sleeping like a baby. Is this what people call maternal instincts? I want to get to know him better. Oh, I know. Mm, why do I smell like perfume all over? That's strange. Huh, oh well. The next day, Ochi san spent the day peeking at me frequently. What that Ochi san? Why is she looking at me like that? Um, Narumiya san. Yes? Thank you for your help last night. My ear cleaning skills impressed Kazumi. She said it was the best session she's ever had. Really? I'm glad to hear that. And, um, there's one more thing I could use help on. Oh, what is it? Well, Kazumi asked me to make an obento for her, but I've never made an obento. Will it be okay for me to make an obento for you someday? Unless, uh, you have a girlfriend that would get upset. Huh? Really? Are you sure? Uh, I don't have a girlfriend. That's great! How about this weekend? I could bring it over to your place, or we could have a picnic. A picnic? Does that mean we're going on a date? Would you prefer not to? Of course I would! That's a great idea! Wait, I'm excited. Do I have feelings for her? <laughs> I lied. Kasumi never asked me to make an obento before. But he said he'd help me with anything. So he could help me practice becoming his wife. Hey, is something wrong, Ochai-san? Nope. Everything is absolutely perfect. A few years later, Ochai-san accepted my proposal. We got married. I had no idea her plan to get married to me started this early. Imagine how shocked I was when I found out. <sighs> Finally, they accepted my proposal. My name is Kazuki Sakurai. It's almost a year since I joined Men's Incorporation. Things are hectic at the end of my business here. I even sleep at the office to finish my work on time. Thank you, my young body. I won't be able to work like this 20 years from now. Great job, Sakurai-san. I saw your proposal. You did well. Ah, oh, that's all thanks to you. Arashi-san? Huh? Wait? Arashi-san? Where are you? I'm right here. Look! I barely saw her tiny head bouncing behind the huge pile of documents on my desk. This is my senpai. Her name is Luna Hirashi. Hirashi is 26 years old. She's known for being an excellent employee. Her proposals almost always go through. My gosh, your desk is a mess. You should put away the documents you don't need. One thing makes her stand out in the office. It's the fact that she is tiny. I'm pretty sure she's not even five foot. 
Rashi Chan soothes my tired soul. She represents the good in this office. She is the single flower who stands in the middle of a battlefield. Ah, how pretty. They're obviously here with ulterior motives. I have to admit, she's pretty charming. The thing is, I doubt Arashi san is aware of what her colleagues say about her. Uh, excuse me? Why are you guys blinking out? We have a meeting in the afternoon. So much to prepare for. Yes, yes ma'am! Ma she's pretty good at getting the guys in the office to do what she wants them to do. It's amazing how she brings such warmth and comfort to a work office. One day, we all decided to go out for drinks together. It was to celebrate our proposal getting approved. Mm, it's been a while since the last time we went out for drinks together. Oh, that's because I usually go straight home after work. I don't go out for drinks. I have a lot to take care of at home. Take care? You mean like a dog? Yo! Attention over here! It's time to sit down! Oh, I'm sorry. Gosh, I'm so glad I'm still here. We went through so much this year. You kept saying you're gonna quit for the first two months. Ugh, I'm sleepy. I think I may have overworked myself. Dude, are you okay? I don't know you had such low tolerance. Oh, I'm okay. I'll, I'll be fine. Uh-oh, this is bad. We should call him a cab. We shouldn't waste money. I think we head home the same way. I'll take him home. What? I wish I were him. Why are they looking at me? My eyelids feel so heavy. When I opened my eyes, I was in a room I'd never been in before. What the? What's going on? Where am I? Did I go home last night? Was I abducted? First, we all went out for drinks to celebrate our proposal going through, and then I got sleepy. But uh, where the hell am I? Hey, Sakurai-san is awake. Luna-chan! Hi there. You work with my older sister. I'm Hiyori, Luna's little sister. And this is our youngest sister, Mihoshi. Here, have some water. Uh, oh, thanks. Wow, she has two sisters? Wait, what? You are her little sister? She's older than you? Yes, that's right. Arashi's son is like a little girl. It's hard to think these mature women are younger than her. It's as if they have a different set of DNA than Arashi's son. Hey, Sakurai-san. Good morning. I'm so sorry for bringing you here. I couldn't take you back to your place. <coughs> uh, hey, uh, Arashi-san, what are you wearing? Oh, this? My sisters gave this to me as a present on Valentine's Day. I didn't want it to go to waste. It's a Lolita-style apron! She looks great, doesn't she? Oh, so they chose it on purpose. Arashi-san told me how she was planning to take me home. However, I couldn't remember my address because I was too drunk. That's why I ended up here. I'm sorry for putting you through all that. Relax, it's okay. You're lucky we don't have work today. I agree. Here, I made breakfast. Eat up. You should put some food in your stomach before you go. Oh, that's mighty kind of you. To tell you the truth, I'm starving. I appreciate this. <coughs> <gasps> Are you okay, Sakurai-kun? What the hell? Isn't this miso soup? Why does it taste like there's chocolate in here? And it's sour and bitter at the same time. I'm lost. What the hell is this? Isn't it intense? Somehow, anything we make has turned out to be a disaster. We don't know how we do it. I guess I can eat the rice and maybe the egg. I mean, those are the only things her younger sisters were eating. Mihoshi and Hiyori live here with me. They go to university near here. I can't feed them convenience store obento all the time, you know? I do my best to feed them nutritious food. I do, but... <laughs> well, Hiroshi-san! I'm so sorry. All I wanted was to treat you to a nice breakfast since you always work so hard. Hiroshi-san? Why don't you let me help you? Huh? I'm not great at cooking. I haven't had much practice making my own food, but your sisters need to stay healthy to study well in classes. And I owe you for letting me stay the night. But, but I'm so glad you said that. Can I make a request? I would love to eat curry for lunch today. Of course. Curry it is. Uh, oh, wait a second. Come on. Having someone else cook for us will be nice once in a while. You know, the only things we can make are natto, fried eggs, and boiled vegetables. We mess up everything else. Ugh, I know, but still... Meanwhile, curry, okay, we need carrots, onions, and potatoes. Rashi-san takes good care of me at the office. We'll make a delicious curry. I can't wait to see the look on their faces. Ew. No way! S-Sakurai-kun? 
What did you put in this curry? Uh, apples and honey and chocolate. Why would you put those in curry? What do you mean, why? I thought everybody does. Curry boxes sometimes have pictures on them in the front. But I didn't think you actually needed to add them in, and the carrots and potatoes are raw. Mm, I didn't want to make just any curry. I wanted to make mine special. That's what we always say. People tend to make the same mistakes. Ugh, I'm so sorry I wasted so much food. Hmm. Wait, Hiroshi-san? Luna-chan, you're going to get sick! My kohai spent his precious time making this curry for us. As a senpai, I should eat all of it. Hiroshi-san? Stop admiring her! You, start eating! You did make it after all. Uh, of course! Ah! I managed to finish the curry I made. But I couldn't end things with a failure. Senpai, uh, can I come over to make you and your sister's meals from now on? Huh? Uh, I don't think... Fine then, how about I come over to help you? I'm impressed, Sakurai-san. You don't easily give up. I guess it's a good thing. It would be nice if our sister became a better cook. Uh, you guys... Please? I made such a horrible dish. Let me make it up to you. You don't have to make it up. But I guess it won't be so bad to have you around to help us out. Yes, I'll do my best. Thank you so much. And so, Hiroshi-san and my cooking practices started. We came home after work and I helped her with anything she needed. Hey, Kazuki! Wanna go out for some drinks? I can't. I have things to take care of. Take care of? Do you have a pet at home or something? Bye, guys. There she goes. They're both gone now. Hey, it'll just be us. We can pull an all-nighter. That boy will feel so empty. Me too. We would go grocery shopping together before going back to Arachi Sound's place. It became our daily routine. So today, we'll be making beef stroganoff, okay? We're beginners. Don't be such a difficult dish to make. Why can't we make beef still? There's no need to make things complicated. Y you think? Well, beef stew sounds pretty good. We spent a lot of time together. I realized Arashi-san longed for her sister to compliment her for making difficult dishes. Here we go. Arashi-san? What are you doing? Oh, there's a bottle of wine in the cupboard up there. I don't use it very often. I need this stool to reach the cupboard handle. Uh, hey, this is what I'm here for. Let me help. Oh. Here, is this it? Uh, yes. By the way, uh, wine bottles are heavy. You shouldn't keep them up there. You don't want the bottle shattering on you. Oh, <laughs> You're right. Didn't think of that before. My bad. Is something wrong? Her face is red. Oh no, is she sick? Oh my. Oh my my. We added some ingredients and waited while the beef stew simmered. I've learned to prepare well. I always boil the vegetables before I go to work now. Just to make sure they aren't raw when we eat them. Let's, Let's dig begin. in. H how is it? Uh... Mm, it's okay. Just okay? It tastes like regular beef stew. Uh, is that a good thing? Regular beef stew? Oh, what a relief. Oh, I guess it's a good thing. <laughs> Gosh, I'm starting to get sleepy. Uh, hey, you should sleep in your bed. Thank you, Kazuki-kun. I took her to her bed and returned to the kitchen to wash the dishes. Sakurai-san. Hmm? Maoshi-chan? Yori-chan, what's up? We wanted to thank you. We never thought our sister would improve that much. Oh, but you said it tasted okay. Do you know how difficult it is for Luna-chan to make her food taste okay? <laughs> I see. Luna-chan always tries to make impressive dishes for us, but she can never seem to get it right. It's always been like that. Eventually, she stopped trying to cook good food. I guess she was scared of failing. That night you slept over? That was the first time she made miso soup in a long time. I didn't know that. She was probably trying to impress me since she's my senpai. To be honest, we're fine with eating store-bought obento, but Luna-chan cares for us enough to go out of her way to make us food. It's the thought that means so much to us. Hey, Ori chan I still remember the first night we arrived here. She made beef stew for us that day. It was the worst beef stew I've ever had. <laughs> Sakurai-san, we appreciate everything you've done for us. Oh. It's getting late. Why don't you sleep here tonight? You have the day off tomorrow, right? Yeah, thanks. I'll stay the night. Yori-san brought some covers to the living room for me to use on the couch. Arashi-san is amazing. She does her best at work and she has gained her sister's respect. I'm glad I could help out with the cooking. 
It's sad to leave, but there's nothing left for me to do here. I thought about the many wonderful memories we had together before I fell asleep. The next day... Oh, Kazuki-kun. Good morning. Good morning, Luna-san. Oh. Huh? Uh, is something wrong? What? Oh, it's nothing. I see. Okay, then. Um, Kazuki-kun, will you be... Oh, yeah, I'll be leaving now. Huh? You've got a much better Hirachi-san. I'll only get in the way if I stay. Oh, uh, okay. Why would you say okay? Well, Mahoshi-san and Iyori-chan? Sakurai-san, you are so clueless. Can't you see how Luna-san is feeling? Our beloved sister is already in love with you, Sakurai-san. What? Uh, uh, hey, stop it, you two! Luna-chan, you should be more honest about your feelings. I noticed how you changed the way you call Sakurai-san. It was to get his attention. Uh, Not that you mention it. So now it's up to you, Sakurai-san. Huh? Do you plan on deepening your relationship with her precious sister? Or will you dump her? Oh, uh, well... Kazuki-kun... Uh, of course I want to be with her! Isn't it obvious? <gasps> Arashi-san works harder than anybody at the office. But she doesn't let that get in the way of taking care of her family. I admire her for trying to do her best at everything. I want to support her! She cares about you two more than anybody in the world. I know I'm not a skillful cook yet, but I want to cook with her and eat dinner with you guys. Kazuki-kun! Great! Now that's out! We should get out of your faces. Huh? What? Hey! kazuki kun y yes Will you stay and help me cook for my sisters? Uh, yes, if you have me. Thank God. I'm looking forward to spending more time with you. After that, we officially started dating. The male employees at the office seemed shocked. But they congratulated us on our relationship. I get to spend every day with Luna-san and her sisters. It's nice to share the table with them. Kazuki-kun, open up. Uh, I'm not sure if I can. Don't be shy. My sisters won't be coming home till late tonight. Here. Oh, uh... Hey, love bugs. We're home. Gosh, the moments are gone. <laughs> Figures. Hey, if you knew what we were doing, why did you come home? Well, we wanted to give you a gift, Kazuki-san. What's this? We promise you'll look great in it. Oh, my gosh. I put out a pink apron. Now, you have matching aprons. Uh, you guys. <laughs> I'm sure you'll look great, Kazuki-kun. Uh, thanks, guys. Luna-san and I sit next to each other in the kitchen, wearing the same apron. I have to admit, I kind of like it. Look, it's Kara-san! She's seriously so beautiful, even when she's alone! Yeah, she's always beautiful. I wish I could get closer to her. Dude, she's top of the class! She's someone we'll never get close to. Uh, just as popular as ever. My name is Shinji. I'm a high school student. There's a class president at our school that is referred to as the school Madonna. The boys are always interested in her because she's beautiful, has a great body, and she's very smart. They always think that she's someone that is out of everyone's league, but things are a little different with me. Ah, Shinji, let's go home together. We went to the same elementary school together. But she went to a private middle school, so we never really talked during middle school. What? Kara-san is going home with Shinji? What is she like about a boring guy like that? The other guys don't know about that, so they're always jealous, but... Uh, I can hear them being jealous. Hey, I bought some snacks that I think they'll like. Thanks. I'll pour some tea that you like, then. The reason she's all over me is because I'm home. You guys been good? Ah, <sighs> they're so cute. Wow. <laughs> She often wanted to see these cats after class. My parents both run a store together, so they often don't come home till late at night. Thanks to the kids, a boring guy like me is able to be close friends with her and not just a classmate. Ugh, he said stop! When the cats play with her, I get to see some nice things too. Good job, cats. It's dark now. I'm gonna head home, Shinji-kun. At first, I was pretty confused. The fact that we reunited and the fact that she remembered that I was active in animal care was surprising. I'm seriously a boring student. I don't have any good female friends and definitely have never had a girlfriend, so I don't know what to talk about with her. I still don't really know sometimes. Yeah, sure, see you tomorrow. After class the next day. Shinji-kun, let's go home. Yeah, sure. Ugh, she's not the school but daughter anymore. Let's stay strong, buddy. I feel like because I'm so close to her, I've been missing chances to make guy friends. I thought of that while going home. Then this happened. Oh. A 
abandoned cats again? The town I live in has a lot of abandoned animals, and feral animals have really started to become a problem. Sometimes you'll find abandoned animals in the street. Hey, we need to save it. Can you take it home? Yeah. I don't know. Our house has quite a few cats already. My parents have been talking about how their store hasn't been doing too well either. I need to talk to them. What's wrong? Oh, uh, yeah. What is it? You're not gonna save it? You have so many cats at home, though. It should be fine, right? Y yeah, but saving the cat is... I don't believe it. It's fine. I'm gonna take it to the animal shelter, then. No, it's not that, Kana-san. I wanna save it, too, but... I couldn't explain to her what was happening, and she just took the box with the cat and walked away. That day, she didn't come over to my house. Even at school, she stopped talking to me. I knew she was after the cats, but it made me feel a little upset that she suddenly stopped talking to me. Oh, Kana-san is... Uh, I noticed after looking at her poster. She's been trying to save animals that have been abandoned as part of her project. I see. That's why she was trying so hard to rescue the cat. Oh, uh, look, Shinji looks upset. Wait, did something happen with Kana-san? I've raised animals from since I was young, so I know how she feels. When there's a weak animal in front of you, it's normal to want to save it. But sometimes, you can't. Sometimes the animal passes before you can take it to the shelter, or they just can't find a foster or rescue. There's a responsibility in taking animals, and it leads to expenditure. I don't know when I started realizing this and understanding that since I'm using my parents' money. I had to talk to them first. Sometimes there are times that you just can't do anything, no matter how hard you try. I remember the despair I felt back then. A few days later... Dude, they haven't been going home together for a while now! Dude, how about you try talking to her then? No, that's not right! Hey, they're going now! What? What's gonna happen next? I kind of started walking with him because of the flow of things, but... This is awkward. What do I do? Is she mad? But then she wouldn't walk with me, right? I know I should probably apologize, but I can't find the words. Uh, she broke the silence. Hey, why are you following me? Huh? Oh, I'm not following you. My house is this way, you know that. I yeah What was that? And back to silence. She must be upset, so I should give her space. Then we found another box on the side of the road. It's so malnourished. It's been a while since it's been abandoned. We need to save it! Wait, hang on! I thought this before, but... You say save them like it's something easy to do. Uh, easy? What are you talking about? I don't think it's easy. Why are you being so negative? It's not that. Sorry, that's not what I meant. I chose the wrong words and made her upset. I just have to explain what I'm thinking to her. So I told her everything that I thought about the house and sense of responsibility. After hearing what I had to say, she grabbed my cheek and pulled my face up to look at my eyes. You need to say things like that first! Ugh, you're so bad at communicating! Toughen up! That's not the person I admired! Huh? What? Uh, uh, Kana-san? Come on, pick up the box! I can't carry two alone! But... Hurry! Yes, ma'am! She put some oomph in her voice and we headed straight to her shelter. We made it in time for them to save the cats. <sighs> we made it! Good job, President! You're doing exactly what you promised. Huh? <laughs> yeah. But anyone would save them in a situation like that. Yeah, I guess so. Normally, I was like that too. You hesitated saving them again, didn't you? Why? I'm afraid. What if I can't save them even if I try? I don't want to take part in a lost life. I don't like pretending not to see it worse. If they died because you chose not to look, I'd rather try. You're gonna be upset either way, so I'd rather do what I can. You're smart, huh? I think you can keep up with your campaign if you stick to your guns like that. <laughs> Someone actually inspired me to be this way. Someone? Yeah, the person I admired. Oh, yeah, you said something about that when you were chewing me out. What did you mean? When I was young, there was this little boy that would find abandoned cats and pets and take them to facilities to be rescued. He was saving a lot of lives, and he was like a hero to the animals. I really admired that. And they wanted to take part in it. Wait, is that... That boy had a little freckle under his eye. Just like you. Kana-san, she had known and remembered the time that I was young. Even when I was hopeless because I couldn't save lives. She just kept trying to do her best to save more. <laughs> uh, uh, what? Shinji-kun? 
Sorry, I know this is horrible. I can't be like this when you respect and admire me. That's not true. I'm sorry for not considering your pain. It's okay. You've seen way more than I have, and you've come to your own conclusions. I think you're incredibly kind. Thank you. Hey, Shinji-kun. If you want, why don't we save animals together? Huh? You know how the semester is coming to an end? Oh, we're gonna be starting our new semester soon. Then I have to run for president again, so I want you to take part in the class council and help me rescue animals. Akana-san. Is that okay? No, I'd love that. I will absolutely help you. The new semester started and she was elected as class president again. I became the vice president and we started putting real efforts into saving the animals. I do, check it out. They're walking together again. Huh? I guess they're able to make up, huh? Now I can be jealous without being worried. Damn it, Shinji! I'll understand your logic, bro. Well, I'm just glad that they're happy, is all. We started expanding our rescue efforts and we made little posters, calling for people to stop pretending like they didn't see the pets in the street. That actually caused a pretty dramatic decline in the number of pets that were thrown out. While we were working on our rescue efforts, I realized that I was in love with her, so I asked her out. Kana-san, I'd love to help continue rescuing animals with you. So what I'm saying is, I'd love to go out with you, so... <laughs> what a strange way to ask somebody out. I'd love to. We became a couple and we continued rescuing animals, even after we graduated. I thought I was saving cats, but maybe I was being saved through my efforts of saving them. What did you think of today's episode? Please come back tomorrow for more. Thanks for watching. Bye.